Hello troops, Operator Starsky here. Um, we are going to the city of Chernihiv, where my good buddy Bogdan lives, and I'm sure that you will not recognize him anymore. And today I am accompanied by my civilian friends. Uh, they act weird, uh, as civilians always do. Uh, we all have civilian friends. I think you do too. Observable range is something around 150 meters max, and uh, from what we know, during the first uh, weeks of invasion, this uh, this area was pretty much destroyed. Uh, we are talking mostly about the suburban area of Chernihiv, the center is more or less intact however some structures were damaged uh, famous hotel ukraine was also destroyed so my friends told me they are almost here i hear they are calling hello hello uh, i'm on this location i love my friends Beautiful Chernihiv, a lot of you don't know probably that this is my sort of homeland because I was born in a small town not far from Chernihiv. Uh, hopefully we will be able to visit it. Maybe not. Uh, and Bogdan told me that he will meet us somewhere here and this is the very very downtown of uh, Chernihiv. You can see shit because it's foggy, but I love it. This restaurant is called Balvano Hala, which means um, oh. Anyways, those are the sled of a Santa Claus. I think if we were lucky we will find him somewhere here. So it took us almost three hours to get to Chernihiv because the road was crazy and uh, we are now in Balovanahaya. This is a place where they serve um, famous dumplings known as Vareniki or Pierogi in Polish. So because Nikola is my civilian friend, uh, he liked this road very, very much. Sometimes we had to drive like 20 plus, uh, sometimes 10 plus in order to avoid like bombs and stuff. Uh, and yeah, you see that he is very, very much, very, very much satisfied with with the with all the road and its condition you see you see this beautiful smiling face uh, full of joy ain't you so what do you think about your music <laughs> nice place okay all right uh, <laughs> It looks as if I have like a crown. Uh, so, quick announcement, guys. Some people um, ask me whether I want to make a, um, you know, like a new channel dedicated to cooking. And the problem is, I prefer eating over cooking. That's why you will probably never see such channel on a YouTube. 
uh, on the other hand though I think I can invite different people so they will cook for me and I will be talking and discussing and you know like roasting some random people and then I, I will be eating this and uh, by the way I think it's a good opportunity to you know find a wife maybe maybe <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. And by the way, what we have here is called green borscht, the one that I told you about previously. Uh, they cook it with, uh, I, I can see some kind of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my friends were served some kind of mushrooms, obviously, <laughs> that's why they laugh. Ukrainian mushrooms. Usually they don't laugh, especially this one. <laughs> absolutely beautiful and amazing and now i'm gonna try those beautiful that crown bothers me uh, i'm gonna try this beautiful dish called vareniki with meat um, they also serve it with uh, sour cream and everything in ukrainian cuisine you gotta eat together with sour cream because sour cream makes everything better, better. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just lost my ability to speak English. It's so good. I just finished uh, those vareniki with meat. They were fantastic, and here I have uh, vareniki with cherries, and they are prepared using steam and uh, it's a completely Ukrainian dish usually they are you know like a bit sour and sweet and of course you have to uh, taste vareniki with cherries together with sour cream mm. they are so good I'm so sad that you cannot feel the beautiful taste of Ukrainian vareniki Hey, bro. How are you? Fine. <laughs> so now we are gonna hang around, visit places. Basically, this is how the wartime Chernihiv looks like. Uh, of course, I'm not showing you any military objects or facilities or checkpoints. You're not supposed to see them. Um, so, Bogdan, yeah, how was it? Uh, it's uh, weather today. You see, many fog and uh, many water. Is it typical for Chernihiv? Mm, you know, maybe yes, because Chernihiv uh, translates in English like black city. Oh. <laughs> So Bogdan is giving us a tour around Chernihiv downtown and just take a look how beautiful this place looks with such thick fog. It's absolutely amazing. Here we have plenty of old cannons. Not sure if they were used to uh, fight back Russians. I doubt so. But uh, if you are in Chernihiv, or if you know a person from Chernihiv, you gotta always ask this person how many cannons are there in this park. And they must know the answer. The, the correct answer is uh, I think 11 this place is amazing look church another church another church so behind our backs you can see a famous hotel Ukraine located in Chernihiv uh, at the Peace Avenue this is how the street is called 
and uh, it was destroyed early in the beginning of this invasion by Russians and according to Russian propaganda of course there were Ukrainian military uh, they are everywhere in kindergartens children playgrounds in hospitals everywhere uh, but anyways here I'm with my good buddy Bogdan and uh, Bogdan our viewers are curious uh, like what's your status how do you feel how's your Balkan going and stuff like that I feel uh, much better now because my friend Starsky uh, <laughs> buy me food so many food I have I have big plans with my friends we have big plans and uh, maybe uh, sometimes you see our, see, yeah, but... our work. Yeah, in the future. We will not tell you the details, but you're gonna like it. <laughs> 